children, how are you? Good. Did you have a good day today? Yes. yes. Fantastic. So we're going to do a few tricky words tonight and we're going to do lots of things to improve our reading and our writing. Let's rub our positive points because we know when we do some brain stimulation, it helps our brains. Now we're going to do brain boost. We're going to rub our ears from the top to the bottom four times. That's one, and back up again, two, and three, and again, four. Fantastic. Okay. All right, everyone looking this way. All right, we're going to first of all have a look at one of our word boxes. All right, now we are up to word box 18. So we're going to look at these words, we're going to see if we can sound them out. Are we ready? Quick. 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 Good. Out. 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 Which letters are making the owl sound? Yes, Mason. The O. The O and the U. U. The U. The O and the U are making the owl sound. Well done. Shh. Owl. T. Shout. Quick. E. letters are making the oi sound here? The O and the I. The O and the I. They're making that oi sound, aren't they? Well done. Alright. De you. Ju. That means like the letter is due tomorrow. That sort of due. Alright. The, the bill is due. We must pay the money. It's due. Okay. P-A-K. Alright, which letters are making the R sound, please? Which letters, Caitlin? A R. A R makes the R sound. Well done. Shh. R K. Sharp. Joseph, which letters are making the R sound? The I and R. Alright, can you think of another word, not park, but another word that's got an R sound in it, made with A and R? Something that you go in every day, probably. Car. Car. Well done. K. Ah. Okay. Let's do the last one. U. E. T. E. Litter. Let's do it again. U. E. T. E. Litter. Right. So when you have two T's together, they still make one sound, don't they? What sound do they make? Well done, they make a t sound. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to our sounds and just check that we know them, all right? So, are you looking, Joseph? Right, good boy. We don't need to do the actions, I just want you to do the sounds. Well done. All right, and off we go. It is. As well, so it can be s and it can be p. It's got two sounds. E It 
It's so hard. It's hard. They're hard to spell. You can't sound them out. Have a look at one of our tricky words. All right, look at this one here. What's that word? Your. Your. Now let's try and sound it out. Y-R-R-R. Wouldn't help, would it? No. You've just got to be able to know it. Your. So we say the letter names for the tricky words. Y-O-U-R. Let's say it. Y-O-U-R. Alright, shut your eyes and tell me. Y-O-U-R. Alright, now write it down on your whiteboard. What's this word, children? Because. because. Alright, let's say the letters. Are we ready? B-E-C-A-U-S-E. -E. Let's say because again. B-E-C-A-U-S-E. -E. Now let's write it in the air all together. B-E-C-A-U-S-E. -E. Let's imagine, let's imagine that we're writing it with bright orange paint. Let's do that. Right, look up in the air. B-E-C-A-U-S-E. -E. E. Excellent. Now write it down for me. Because. B-E-C-A-U-S-E. -E. We're getting so much spelling done today. Because. Let's say the word. Because. B-E-C-A-U-S-E. -E. Marker. Who could put because into a sentence for me? Okay, Mason, what could you say? I was here because it I was here because it was hot. I was here because it was hot. Okay? That's a good sentence. Alright, here's another one that people are getting mixed up. They're getting this one here mixed up with the one where you write with your hand. Alright, so let's look at this. This means the right hand or turn to the right. Let's spell it. Ready? R I G H T. Who can put it into a sentence? It also it also might mean the right one. You know when the teacher says go and pick the right one. Joseph. I write with my right hand. I write with my right hand. And how would you spell that first right? I write. I, how would you spell that first one? That's your right hand. But when you say, I write, how do you spell that one? That's a homonym, isn't it? It's, do you know? What is it? I think W-H-I-N-E. Oh, you're so close. It is a W first. All right, when we write something with our hand, Caitlin, how my do you think we do it? My teacher's name is Mrs. Wright. <laughs> is she? <laughs> well, how's her name spelled? Um, M-R-I-T-E. M R No W I mean W Yeah R I T E Alright so her name is spelled her name is spelled the same spelling as when we write something. So when we write something we've actually got a silent W. Have a look at this. Write this word down. Right. Right. Oh. And there's a silent W. So when you say that sentence, Joseph, I write with my right hand. The first right is spelt like that. Okay? I write with my right hand. How do you spell the right when you talk about your right hand? That's interesting, isn't it? So you got that, didn't you, Marquisha? Yeah, yeah good girl. How do you spell spell it when you're doing your right hand? What's the spelling for that? Mason? How do I spell right when I'm doing it with my right hand? R I G H T. Awesome. R-I-G-H-T. So, that is when we're talking about turning to the right or picking the right thing or doing the right thing. All right? This one is when we're talking about using our hand to write and it has a silent W. So let's spell this one. Shut your eyes. W-R-I-T-E. All right, let's put that one into a sentence. Can we put that right into a sentence? I write with my right hand. Good girl, Shantana. What could you say, my Keisha? I, I write with my right hand. So much. I write with my right hand so much. Okay. Shut your eyes and spell it again. 
W-R-I-T-E. Right, how do I spell the right when I'm using my right hand? Right, shut your eyes and spell it. R-I-G-H-T. Brilliant, who can put it into a sentence for me? All right, a different sentence, Joseph. All right, go on, Joseph. Um, I have the right to drive my car. I have the right, right. to drive my car. Well done. All right, one more tricky word. Only one more. And these are ones that I have noticed from your writing that we really need to do. This one is very tricky. Do you know some adults, I had a mistake with this one. Do you know what this word is? Does. Does. Well done, Mason. Does. D-O-E-S. Let's say it. D-O-E-S. Write it in the air. Let me see you do it. D O E S and again D O E S. Can we write that word down two times? D O E S. D O E S. Well done. While you're doing it, can you think of a sentence that has does in it? Okay, Joseph. Uh, doze, 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 doze. No, that's doze. You know when you go to sleep, that's D-O-Z-E. Okay? Now, this is a tricky one. Does. Does. Yes, Mason? Have a think. Does. I. Owen. I does. I does my work. Oh, that's not bad. What you, the way to say that is, I do my work, but I could say, does Mason do his work? Yes. Right, that's where we could put does. Does Mason do his work? Yeah. Can anybody think of another sentence that has does in it? What could we have? We could have, um, yeah, uh, does Danielle come to teach at ICE every day? Does Danielle come to teach at ice? Yes, Mason. Does does a sh does a ship get wrecked? Does a ship get wrecked? Well done. You're really thinking. All right. So let's shut our eyes and spell does. D O E S. And again, one more time. D O E S. That's so good. Give give yourselves a big clap. That was really good. All right now, I'm going to read you a story. All right, before we go back into the classroom, and it's how do dinosaurs say good night? Um, I can see two words here that are using long vowels. Do you know which words they are? Have a look. How do dinosaurs, two words that are using a long I specifically, a long I sound. What do you think they are, Mason? Dinosaurs and night. Excellent. Give him a clap. Well done. All right. So let's say the short vowels again and then the long vowels so we're really clear on this. Ready? Ah. Show me your fingers. Ah. E. No, I want to hear that. E. Let's do it. Ah. Ah. E. E. O. A. Do it again with your mouth right open. Ah. E. E. O. A. Excellent. Now the long ones. A. E. I-O-U Excellent. So we've got a long I sound there with dinosaurs and a long I sound there with night. Alright, so we're going to have a look in here. How do dinosaurs say goodnight? How does a dinosaur say goodnight when Papa comes in to turn off the light? Does a dinosaur slam his tail and pout? <laughs> Does he throw his teddy bear all about? What do we call this mark here? What is that? An exclamation no, mark. No, what, have a look at it. Oh, it's a question, question mark. Question mark. Well done. Okay. And there's that word does. We we're looking for there's something with that. There's another one before that. Oh, I think there is. Yep. How does a dinosaur say <coughs> good night? And then we've got another one. Does a dinosaur slam his tail? So how's that spelled? D-O-E-S. Excellent. 